Here's a segment from a recent Gun Talk radio episode. You can listen to all the Gun Talk radio podcasts however you tune in, or check out guntalk.com for more. Two questions for you. First sure. one, yes, um, two weeks ago you talked about assisting this young man in, in um, preparing for his first deer hunt. Uh-huh. And he was going to be using an AR. Right. And I'm assuming that was in a two two three caliber. Correct. Did you discuss the ammunition that he was going to use? I don't know if I mentioned it, but for him, um, and and it's a really important question. I'm glad you asked it. Um, For him, we're using uh, Black Hills ammo with Barnes TSX bullets. I can't remember which bullet weight we have set up for him. Uh, But the, the deal there is, the 223 is a perfectly adequate deer cartridge out to X distance, whatever that would be, 250, 300 yards, perhaps. And if you had asked me 20 years ago, I'd said, oh, absolutely not, because it's pretty much a varmint cartridge or FMJs. And now, and it's not just Black Hills, uh, almost all the manufacturers are offering loads with good bullets designed for hunting, uh, whether it's, you know, a, a Hornady GMX bullet or a Sierra bullet or... You know, whatever it is, if you do a little searching around, it's a really slick way to go. Are, are you, you know, going to use an AR? Are you trying to get somebody set up for that? I wasn't going to use an AR. I was thinking about a bolt action two two three caliber, mm-hmm. as uh, opposed to the five five six. I don't think it. I mean, I use them. Okay, you're not supposed to say this. I use them interchangeably. Two two three five five six. People go, oh, we are. You're not supposed to go. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know. Don't worry about it. Um, it's whether it's two, two, three, or five, five, six. If you're going to hunt deer with it, just I would say pick good controlled expansion bullets, and you've got a pretty flat shooting, almost zero recoil gun, good to 300 yards. It would be my that would be my cutoff. 300 yards would probably be my cutoff with that. Okay. 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 What else can I help you with? The other one, I was looking at the uh, mini shells manufactured now by Aguila and by Federal. There may be others. Mm -hmm. And I was wondering your thoughts on those as a um, self-defense cartridge, assuming they will cycle through the firearm Mm -hmm. that they're being used with. I think they're actually excellent. Uh, The buckshot loads especially I like. But you're talking about inside of house distances. You don't need a three-inch magnum to do that job. You have more of them in the gun. The recoil is so much less with them. Um, you know, I, but, and there's the big but, but you already mentioned it. You have to make sure the gun you're using them in will cycle them because some will and some have a problem cycling the mini shells. So, but if you have taken care of that, I don't have a problem at all uh, recommending using the mini shells for self-defense. Okay, great. Thank okay. you very much. All righty. I appreciate the question, sir. 